All right, I'm gonna do a quick walk around overview of this 2022 Ford F-150 Raptor 800A package. Just picked this up at the dealership yesterday, which was December 31st. I ordered it in mid to late September, so about three and a half months, which is really not too bad at all. So like I said, it's a 2022 model year, 800A package with only a couple added options. It's in the color of code orange, standard 35 inch tires, 17 inch wheels. I did already put a coat of sealant on here. As you can tell, it's quite shiny. So being just the 800A package, no tailgate applique, just the solid orange tailgate. I did throw a Husky bed mat in here already that I had for my old Raptor. Be a little shot of it. Five link rear coil spring suspension, which is new on this generation Raptor. The couple of options I did add is the Torsen Limited Slip Front Differential. That also gets you the rigid fog lights down here. Pretty cool. And then the other package I added was the Convenience Package. And what's included in that is the tow technology package from 2021 is, is integrated into the Convenience Package for 2022. So. You get the integrated trailer brake controller, pro trailer backup assist, 360 camera. And then the other things in that convenience package is the fold down shifter with the flat fold down work surface. Kind of handy sometimes. And the other piece is the fold up storage back here. Kind of handy. Folds flat out of the way when you don't need it. does come standard with the rubber floor mats, which is nice. Nice that they include that. Power sliding rear window. If you came from a Gen 2 Raptor, it's kind of interesting because the base 800A package includes most of the things you want or a lot of the things that were in an 802 package in the Gen 2 Raptor. So it's got heated and cooled leather. Push button start, dual zone climate control. A lot of those things, uh, like I said, in an 800A package in the Gen 2 Raptor, you wouldn't have got any of those items. So it would have been keyed ignition, cloth seats, single zone climate control, things like that. So just give you an idea what that 800 a package includes on this generation. You do get the full LCD gauge cluster standard on all the Raptors in this generation. Lots of cool info in there. Additional gauges and info in here that were only included in the 19 and 20 model year for the previous generation. Nice to have those extra gauges. Big screen in here, a lot of different stuff you can do. This is Sync 4.
one thing I found out yesterday driving at home is that you can actually view the bed camera while you're driving down the road. I thought that was super handy if you've got stuff in the bed tied down, stuff on a trailer, you want to check on your straps. You can look at that camera while you're driving down the road, so that's really nice. Tons of new stuff in here that wasn't in the previous generation, but like I say, I'm going to keep this to a pretty quick overview. Go into more detail and do some driving videos and further reviews in the future. It is nice in addition to the different drive modes on the knob down here. Flip through a couple of those. Pretty cool graphics. In addition to those modes, also got a Raptor mode here that's customizable. So if you bring that up, you can choose your favorite settings for the drive mode, the steering, the shocks, and the exhaust. So you can modify all four of those to your liking and then if you double tap the R on the steering wheel there, it goes into that custom Raptor mode, however you've set it up. So that's kind of cool. I've got 114 miles on it, so not a whole lot yet. But the little bit I've driven it, I've enjoyed it thoroughly, so... The exhaust, the active exhaust system with the four different modes is pretty cool. They made a big improvement into the sound of the EcoBoost here. I, I really like it, no complaints. Uh, it's not, doesn't sound like a V8, but it's not intended to, so it's got a really cool sound. And the, the active exhaust modes are surprisingly more different between the modes than I expected, so pretty cool there. Anyways, I'll hop out here. Oh, one, one last thing. I did get the auto start stop delete. This button would have been to turn off the auto start stop system. However, uh, Ford did allow you to delete that system in, uh, in hopes of getting your truck quicker as there were some shortages for that system. So I, don't, I really don't mind the auto start stop. I have it on several vehicles and I don't have a problem with it, but the fact that I could get my truck sooner by not having that was all right with me, so it does not have it. A couple of cool things I figured out with the lights are the outside fog light. This one here is turned on with the button in the middle of the headlight switch, headlight knob. And then the inner one is actually hooked to your auxiliary one switch up on the headliner. So uh, you can either just have the inner ones on, you can have just the outer ones, or, or all four of them. The other cool thing is when you turn the brights on, normally all the fog lights turn off in most vehicles. The outer one turns off, but you can keep the inner ones on that are actuated by that auxiliary switch. So you can have the high beams on and the inner two fog lights. Uh, I didn't... Didn't know that prior to getting this home yesterday, so that's kind of cool. Again, like I say, just a quick overview. I'll be doing some more detailed videos. If there's anything you want to see, just let me know. I've got a tonneau cover to put on there. I already put some mud flaps on. I do have another set of wheels and tires as well, but I won't be putting them on until the weather's a little bit nicer here in Minnesota. That's going to be my summer set they are black 17 inch wheels with goodyear wrangler territory mt tires which if you're familiar those are from the bronco sasquatch package so excited to get those on eventually too here i also did put a shorter antenna on this is like a 13 inch so it doesn't slap the garage door opening every time i back in so anyway that's it for today Hope you liked it. Pretty excited about the truck and be doing some more videos on the future, so keep an eye out.